With the notorious status the Gulf of Guinea is fast assuming as being the piracy capital of the world, since the Martin Luther Aguirre International Leadership and Peacekeeping Center rising up to the challenge and believing that the narrative can be changed with the development and introduction of a study that will serve as a standard to squarely address the issue. It is an established fact that security in the Gulf of Guinea has become a concern to seafarers. Pirates carry out attacks on all types of vessels, making the maritime domain dangerous. According to the International Maritime Bureau reports, since the beginning of 2021, there have been 38 incidents. To tackle this challenge headlong requires synergy from countries in the subregion in the eye of the storm. The Martin Luther Agua International Leadership and Peacekeeping Center has joined the fray in seeking solutions to the piracy problem in the subregion. The rate of piracy in the Gulf is believed to be one of the highest around the world. According to the European Union um, Maritime Safety Agency fact sheet, it is estimated that about 1,500 fishing vessels, tankers, and cargo ships navigate the Gulf daily. This huge volume of maritime traffic is constantly being threatened by piracy. This is the reason why the International Maritime Organization is always crying out on the increased threat and uh, 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 attack on the seafarers uh, uh, in the region. And this, um, whether we like it or not, uh, this contributes negatively uh, to affect uh, global trade and um, uh, uh, safety of seafarers. The West African subregion has lost $2.3 billion in the last three years to crime at sea, and the situation could get a lot worse if not adequately tackled. While the center has come up with a study, it is hoped that it will eventually serve as a template for tackling security challenges in the maritime domain. Uluwatobianito, I Media News. Thank <music> you.